Okay, today you can see, today's Thursday, September 6th, you can see we're actually taking a departure from our usual Eureka Math, and we're going to go back into Go Math just for one lesson, because this is one of the rare times I think Go Math does a better job than Eureka Math, okay? So today we're doing Go Math 3.4. You already know that's code, that means lesson, or chapter 3, lesson 4, right? But don't worry about that, okay? It's just in your workbook, you'll see it, it's fine. But our learning goal today, by the end of math, you should be able to round decimals to any place value position. And you should know what rounding means and what the purpose of rounding is. So in your workbook and on the screen, you can see it's telling you about the gold frog of South America. It's one of the smallest frogs in the world. Okay, It's only 0 0.386 of an inch long. So if this is an inch, it's only 3.0.368 or whatever, 386 of an inch long. So it's really, really small. It's like, like probably about the size of a millimeter or a centimeter, right? So it says, what is the length? What is this length? Round it to the nearest hundredth of an inch. When we round, are we making numbers more curvy? No. No. Why do we round? If it says, what is the length rounded? This is one of those English words. Round means like a circle. Are we making the numbers like a circle? No. no. So this is a double meaning word. Yes, in English, round means like a circle, like this floor table. If I wanted to round out this table, I'd have to cut it so it becomes like a circle, right? But when we talk about rounding in math, that's not what we're talking about. I'm not saying, please take the number four and make it more curvy. No, that's not what we're talking about. What are we talking about when we talk about rounding? Well, we're finding about or approximately how big that number is. Sometimes we don't want the, to be too precise. We just want to know about or approximately how big that number is. So it's asking us if we know that this tree frog is 0 0.386. This is the exact amount. But we don't need to know how many thousands it is. We just want to find out how big it is with the hundreds place. So we're finding, is it closer? We're asking, basically when it's asking what's the length rounded to the nearest hundredth, it's asking is the length closer to 0, 38 hundredths or 39 hundredths? Does that make sense? Remember, the exact length was 0 0.386. What place value is the question asking us to round it to? Hundredths. Hundredths. In your problem, in your workbook, circle where it says round to the nearest hundredth of an inch. Circle where it says round to the nearest hundredth of an inch. Okay, then your first step is to write that number in a place value chart. Okay, all you need to do, write this in the margins because you're taking notes. Okay, so write your place value chart like this. And circle the digit in the place where you want to round. Where are we trying to round to? Which digit? The eight. Which, I'm sorry, which place value? The hundreds. the hundreds. What digit is in the hundreds place? Eight. So we're going to circle the eight. Go ahead and do this. Okay, after we, we circled the place, the digit in the place where we wanted to round to, it's the hundreds place, now we're going to underline the digit to the right. So what digit is directly to the right of the circle digit? Six. Go ahead and underline the six. <clears throat> How many, what place value is the six in? Thousands. thousands. How many thousands does it take to make one hundredth? Ten. 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 What is it half, exactly halfway of five. ten? Five. five. So if I have more than five, five or more, is it closer to ten or is it closer to one? Zero. Ten. So... If the, if the digit you underlined here, 6, is l less than 10, the digit to the place in the right stays the same. But if, you, if it's more than 5 or 5 or greater, the digit in the rounding place increases by 1. So is 6 bigger than or less than 5? So that means is 0 0.386, is it closer to 38 hundredths or 39 hundredths? 39. Very good. So we know the answer is... 39 hundredths of an inch, rounded to the nearest hundredth. So you, if you look at the underlined digit and you say, is it greater, five or greater or is it less? If it's five or greater, this gets bumped up by one and you drop that <coughs> digit. Does that make sense? Because we're rounding to the hundredths, we don't care about the thousandths anymore. That's why you just drop it. What if the number was 0 0.382? Well, once again, we would circle the hundredths place. Underline the one to the right. 
Is that more or less than five? Less. So is this number, 0 0.382, closer to 38 hundredths or 39 hundredths? So this rounded, you would, you would just drop that and it would be 38 hundredths. Make sense? The little grass frog is the smallest frog in North America. Its length is 0 0.437 of an inch long. Okay, question A asks you, what is the length of the frog to the nearest hundredth of an inch? Which place value are we trying to round to? Hundredth. Go ahead and circle that really quickly. So, <clears throat> do we care about the thousandths then in our final answer? If we know that the actual measurement is 0 0.437, what are our two possible answers? Well, we're trying to find out if it's between 0 0.43, 43 hundredths, or... How many? What would be one more hundred? 44 hundredths. So our two answer choices are going to be 43 hundredths or 44 hundredths. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, let's follow those same steps. What, step, what position are we trying to round to? The hundredths. What digit is in the hundredths place? Three. For this number. What digit is in the hundredths place? Three. Okay, circle it. What digit is to the right of the hundredths place? Seven. Underline it. You have to think. Is seven five or more? Yes. So is 0 0.437 closer to 43 hundredths or 44 hundredths? 44 hundredths. So to the nearest hundredth of an inch, the frog is about 44 hundredths of an inch long. Is it still asking us to round to the nearest hundredth? No. This time it's asking us to round to the nearest tenth of an inch. So we still have the same number. You can write it on a place value chart. 0 0.437. And this time we're trying to round to what position? The tenth. What digit is in the tenths position? Four. Go ahead and circle it. That means that our two answers will be either 0 0.4, you, you always, your first choice is always what you have, or what would your second choice be? 0 0.5. Okay, so your first answer choice is always going to be whatever digit is already in that position. Your second choice is going to be one more than that. Do you see that? Okay. And then what digit is directly to the right of the circled digit? Three. three. Go ahead and underline it. Is three five or more? No. So is, zero, is 437 thousandths closer to four tenths or five tenths? Four tenths. So to the nearest tenth of an inch, the frog is about four tenths of an inch long.